Welcome back to Mike's Archery and thanks for tuning in to another video. Today we're going to be checking out one of the new Muzzy LVX bows and we're going to be setting this bow up to one of our field staff uh, position guys with what he wanted. So we're going to have several you know, variations of products here. We're not looking at just one brand or anything today, but we're going to kind of take you through step by step the setup process that we're going to do with one of these new lever limb bows from Muzzy and some new uh, accessories as well that we're putting on this bow. We'll talk a little bit about you know what their uses are and what they're good for and and even maybe some negatives about them along the way but that's what we want to look at today is a full setup of a, a bow fishing rig with one of the new lever limb bows the LVX from Muzzy. First place we're going to start is mounting the rest and the product of choice for today for this setup is going to be one of the quick draw bow fishing rests from quick draw archery. Solid piece of equipment here no frills, no thrills when it comes to bow fishing, but Quick Draw has been around for a bunch of years. We love their stuff. It's solid, it's durable. You're never going to have to worry about this thing failing you, and it's just simple, so there's not a ton of adjustments on it. So you're just going to take this and mount it like any other standard air rest would be on any other bow, and you're just going to attach that there in the rest mounting holes with a set of Allen wrenches and then we'll work on getting it the up and down set and the center shot. So now that we've got the rest mounted to the riser we're going to take a look at the center shot and bring that around as well as the knock height on this bow. That's just a good place to get started. Compared to a compound we're going to set this up a little bit differently because you're shooting fingers you're going to want to set that knock height at about a quarter inch high. So it's a little higher than you're going to see on most conventional bow setups where you're trying to get it dead level to an eighth high or so, depending on where you're at. Now, we've got that set pretty much there, but if you want to break out a bow square and make sure those measurements are exact, by all means do so. Line that up on your rest, get it square on the string, make sure your measurements are right. They'll be marked off so that you can do that. But we've already got it measured there, and we're going to take a knock set now and crimp that on so that that knock point stays and doesn't move from here on out. Your next step after you set your knock height is to move on to your center shot and you're going to want to get that center of the riser and get that set up and again there's a lot of tools that you can do this with but uh, we have found that you can usually line those up and get them so daggone close it doesn't really matter without them but if you have a laser tool or some other center shot tool by all means break those out and get your center shot dead on. A couple of things while you're looking at setting your center shot here. You want to check the vertical placement of that rest because it's a round bar so that is going to be able to pivot forward and backward. You're going to want to make sure that that rest is sitting vertically once you tighten that bolt back up. So you, once you got your center shot then the rest is also sitting perfectly vertical as well and then finish tightening that down. Now one of the things we did with our customers bow today and this is unique to the LVX, is the new cable system that they put on here. We uh, actually took a aftermarket cable slide, it's actually a roller slide, and put on this bow. Couple of reasons. What we have found with this design of the lever limb, take it as good, bad, or indifferent, but the cables are going to wear. It's one of the flaws in the design, and the only way to get around that is to put some type of roller guard and get some separation in those cables and get it out of the cable slide. Now, the bow comes with just a standard, you know, Teflon plastic uh, style offset cable slide. But like I said, we, we went ahead and put an aftermarket roller guide on there. If you're looking at one of these LVX bows, you may want to look at going ahead and purchasing a roller guide from somewhere and putting that on the bow. It's just going to increase the longevity and wear on these cables of this bow and make this bow last a whole lot longer for you and function a little better and smoother in the draw and everything. So now that we've got the center shot set, the knock height is set, we're pretty well good to move on to our next item of business. From there we're going to go ahead and mount the reel seat and the reel to the bow. We went with a Gargod reel seat on this setup which in my opinion is one of the top reel seats on the market. If you're looking at a real quality reel seat and money's not an object, take a look at a Gargod. And so nothing special here. Just go ahead and get that threaded into the riser in the stabilizer hole. Now with a Gargod, it does have a flat spot on top and that is the whole point of the reel seat. 
is so that your reel sits flat on top. We're going to want to get that placed where our lines are centered on top so that the reel is going to sit level on top. And then you're going to want to get a half inch or inch and tighten that nut down against the riser of the bow so that this reel seat is sitting on there completely solid. And it's not going to move on you, especially under the torque and the strain that you put a, a bow fishing bow through. So make sure you get that nice and tight. Snug it up. Now that we have the reel seat mounted and snugged up, we're going to go ahead and install the shoot through rod first. And that's mainly because you got to take the end bolt off of the reel seat to be able to, to mount that. So a couple of things about a shoot through rod. It just makes everything smoother. It's going to allow you to shoot smoother. It's going to keep the line from tangling up on the front end. Uh, it gets it out in front of the bow a little bit more. And it's just a nice accessory. So, you know, definitely take a look at one of these. If you're setting up a, a high quality bow fishing setup, a shoot through rod can certainly make a little bit of a difference on arrow flight and keeping things straight and, and not getting things tangled up. So, with the Gargod reel seat, they are very simple to use and uh, very functional, but you're just going to remove that front bolt that comes with it, and then you're just going to thread in your shoot through rod in place of that bolt, which is what's going to retain the front end of this reel seat in place for you. So, as with everything else, you just want to get it down to where it's real close to where it needs to be and then back it up so that it's standing up vertically in line with the bow which is also going to be in line with the reel. The lines on top of the reel seat from guard guide you're going to want to make sure those are lined back up on top so that flat piece is in place you're able to snap that reel in and out of where it needs to be. And then just like the back end of the reel seat you're going to snug up that nut on the front and that's going to keep everything in place good and tight so that you don't have to worry about anything moving. Now that we've got the shoot through rod mounted to the front of the Gargod reel seat, we're going to go ahead and drop one of the new Muzzy XD tournament reel into the reel seat. And this is brand new for this year from Muzzy. And as always, Muzzy makes some quality stuff and I think this is no different. Uh, it's got the wider mouth up front. It's going to have the double pickup pins inside and they're metal double pickup pins. We did pull this apart and check that. I always wanted to see what the guts looked like. Uh, and then a new carbon handle with you know double handles there for, for ease of things. So you're just going to drop that reel into place. And this is the nice part about a Gargod reel seat, uh, opposed to other ones, is it's spring-loaded. And so we're going to drop that in there. Make sure it's lined up still. Make some final adjustments here and just kind of tighten everything back down, make sure everything's kind of lined up straight. And take a look at there, make sure the top of the reel seat's sitting there and the, you know, things haven't moved or, or got offset to where the reel's sitting crooked or anything. And then that's the great thing about this. Like I say, if you're in a situation, you're in a tournament shooting and you bust a pickup pin, tear up the gears in it, whatever, you know, we put these things through a lot of abuse. That's the nice part about this reel seat. Pop that out, grab your backup reel, throw it right back on there you're back to fishing in five minutes instead of filling with this a broken reel that you've you destroyed doing something dumb so now that that's all on there i think everything's snugged up everything looks to be good and straight on there we're going to move on to the next couple pieces of equipment that we're going to mount on this setup next we want to take a look at a couple of the features on this bow and we're going to add an aftermarket line puller to the riser of the bow but one thing about the LVX is it does come with a line puller that can be switched from side to side for left and right handed, but you can move it to wherever it's comfortable for you. There's a couple spots on the bow that it'll thread into. One of the other features that's built into the riser of this bow is a, a pointer tip wrench that it's going to allow you to take the point of your arrow, if it's gotten really tight while you're shooting, drop that in there and loosen that up so that you or tighten it back down, whichever way you want to go. But it gives you the option. If you can't get a hold of that with your fingers, things are slimy while you're bow fishing, it happens. And uh, gives you a nice little accessory there. But we like the stuff from Quick Draw as we put the rest on there. And they've got a great new looking line puller 
Comes in black or silver. We thought silver accented this bow, and that's what the, the customer picked out. Well, we're going to mount this up here where the sight goes, where the sight holes are. And not only is this a bigger line puller, going to give you a little more leverage and pull with it mounted up here, but it's got a built-in quiver. there, So you can actually drop your arrow in there when you're done for the night, just laying your bow down so this isn't flopping around on the deck. Drop that right into the line puller, and you're ready to go. Very simple installation. Nothing special about it. It's a very functional tool for bow fishing. All you need to do is just like mounting any sight uh, to the sight hole brackets up here, just a couple of screws and this thing will be mounted to the riser up here and you will be ready to go. Before we got started with the video today, we went ahead and set this bow to the customer. And the nice thing about the new LVX is it is built to fit pretty much everybody. Unless you have exceptionally short, you know, youth arms or really long and you're on the top end of things, this bow has been set up to have tons of adjustment on it. It's got a short setting, a long setting, as well as a no let off setting. So when you're setting this bow up, you're going to be able to adjust that so it's going to fit you properly. And you're going to be able to take this bow down. And before you do, you want to back the limb bolts out on this bow to make these adjustments. It's not something you can just start moving parts around. So you want to be able to back those limb bolts out first and then take the string off the bow and that's going to allow you the opportunity to move these set screws at the top that are on the top of the lever limb. You're going to back those out, move them to where you need it fit, whether short, long, or no let off whatsoever. And then once you have that, then there is a draw length adjustment screw here that's going to help you adjust that lever limb coming back as to where it stops to full draw place for you. So just be aware that those adjustments are there in this bow so that this bow can be set up to fit just about anybody. Got a ton of draw weight adjustment on it as well. We're kind of excited to play with this one and just see what Muzzy has put out. After last year, they had a little bit of an issue with this bow with some limbs. Uh, we've talked to Chuck and the guys over at Muzzy and they say all those are fixed and we're going to put it through some tests here once we get this set up, but I think they've made a ton of improvements and fixed all the issues that they had last year. So if you've had reservations about looking at an LVX, be aware that they have fixed all of those problems and don't be afraid of trying out one of the new Muzzy bows. One of the last things you're going to do is go ahead and push that button on the reel, thread your line out here through your shoot through rod out to the front. Now Muzzy recommends that you tie to the back and not use a slide with all of their spin cast reels. We like that as well. So just a basic loop it over, tie in overhand knot so that you got a, a good size loop there. Thread that through the hole in the shaft. A simple loop over the arrow and you are ready to go. Fully set up, ready to shoot some fish. We're going to take this thing out and see if we can't uh, smack a few fish with it this evening and see what uh, we can put it through. Thanks for tuning in to our YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing from Mike's Archery, please hit the subscribe button. Give us some like on social media. And as always, comments are welcome in the comment section. We love to hear from all our customers. See you on the next video.